All right, so in this video series, I'm gonna demonstrate how to properly install a paint protection film on a 2015 Corvette Stingray. All right, so it's gonna be in, in a couple different steps. Step one is gonna be to prepare your pattern. Uh, I do have the optional mirror. There's two different kinds of mirrors, patterns that are available through DAP, TrueCut, and DD3. Uh, I chose to use the extended version. It just sort of kind of wraps around the edge of the mirror a little bit further, gives it a little bit more protection. I've got two different solutions. I've got my slip solution, which is simply um, a 32 ounce bottle of deionized water with approximately either three light or uh, three heavy or four light drops of Johnson's Baby Shampoo. My tack solution, which is indicated by the yellow stripe on this bottle, is simply uh, five ounces of 70% alcohol with the remainder being water. I also have microfiber towels, paper towel, squeegee, uh, a couple of squeegees there, uh, and everything should be ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do, or I should technically call step one, is to simply prep the mirror for the film. So I'll start off with my water and alcohol solution, which is my, also known as my tank solution. And just sort of wipe the mirror down. Of course the mirror's already been prepped, it's already been buffed, it's already uh, had a clay bar to it, cleaned thoroughly. Uh, so I'll do one final wipe down to make sure that everything's off. In the event that your towels may leave a little bit of fibers remaining on your mirrors, I will also spray it a second time, take the squeegee, and then squeegee off any of those fibers that may have been remaining. So that's kind of step one. All right, so I'm gonna put the water and alcohol down for a second. I'm gonna switch back to my slip solution, which is the water and Johnson's baby shampoo. I'm gonna wet the mirror. I'm going to come back with my water and alcohol solution and I'm going to wet this portion of the mirror because this is where I'm going to start with my film and this is also where I want the film to sort of tack. When I pull my pattern off of the, uh, the liner or the backing, I immediately pull it off and wet both sides of it, the, uh, the adhesive side and the clean side. Again, I've already put some alcohol here, so that's gonna be my tack point. So I'm gonna line the pattern sort of along the bottom edge here. Again, the pattern's not uh, technically designed to come up and wrap the entire mirror. Uh, it's more designed to protect the mirror from the frontal impact. The, the area of the mirror that's most vulnerable to rock chips, bug splatter, things of that nature. So I'm gonna look for alignment points here and along the bottom here. I'm not really gonna worry about this extra. If you have the extended mirror, if you have the, uh, the, the shorter mirror that just stops here, it is a lot easier to install. So this is the more difficult mirror pattern to install. Okay, anytime you leave the pattern on the, the vehicle for more than you know 30 seconds, you always want to lift it back up and sort of get some more slip solution behind it. Make sure that the, the pattern's not prematurely tacking and make sure that it's floating. This is what's called floating, when the, when the pattern just kind of floats on the surface of the, the painted uh, panel. All right, so again, I've already washed off my tack solution, so I'm gonna lift water and alcohol there on the corner check for my alignment here here and I'm going to go ahead and tack overlapping strokes so now I know I've got that tacked down and I know I've got it where I want it I probably will not uh, go back to the water and alcohol solution until uh, I'm all the way at this corner on this end. Again, keep the pattern soaked, keep it wet. 
All right, if you notice, you've got some fingers here and some fingers here. To eliminate these fingers, you're simply going to just stretch or pull the film until they kind of come out on their own. Once you see that they're out on their own, keeping the surface wet, take your squeegee, pull them out, and run your squeegee across, getting all of the fingers out. Okay, now I've worked myself to the edge here. And uh, this again is where I want to go back to my water and alcohol because I won't tack again. So I'm going to pull one across and tack until I make sure that I get all of the fingers out of it. Tack it down. And you see I've got one here on the top that's going to require a little bit more pull, more aggressive pull to get it. And it's, there it goes, pulled it out, and tack it down. On this particular pattern, I am going to exceed the mirror by just a, a small portion, uh, simply because I, I required a little bit more extra pull, so I did pull it back a little bit further than what the pattern was intended to do. But by doing so, I eliminated this finger here. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom, again water and alcohol, grab a hold of it, slot pull, I line it up, line it up with the, 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 the film that's on there, get it where you want it. Once you put the film where you want it, make sure again the surface is wet, holding it and squeegeeing it down in place. Work out any wrinkles that you might have. Make sure you don't have a finger here or here. If a wrinkle is stuck in the film, just lift it slightly, put a little water and alcohol, pull it down where you want it, and squeegee it out. I don't always recommend the mirrors for uh, beginners. Uh, headlamps are uh, way more easy to do and to learn on. Fenders are easy to do. Um, what you want to look for in the film now is you just want to make sure that you don't have any silvering or clouding. You want to make sure that the film didn't stick and when the squeegee run over it created a stretch mark or uh, what we call crow's feet. So inspecting the film, I don't see any water pockets or moisture pockets. I don't see any silvering and I don't see any um, clouding, no air bubbles. My fingers are laid down. If you did get a finger, and, and, and this is usually the area you would get it, either here, 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 or here, then there's a little trick you can take. You can take your paper towel and uh, wrap it over the squeegee, kind of like this right here. And then when you run your squeegee with the paper towel across that finger, the, the paper towel will actually absorb the moisture and it won't allow the water to go run back up and underneath the film, which is kind of what causes the fingers to begin with. It's just not wanting to tack down. Right, I see one little spot here that, that will need to uh, require a little trim work. But overall, everything else looks good. I did exceed, I did exceed the mirror here on this this corner, uh, in which I will just simply go back uh, after the film is dried, and I'll tuck it in, tuck it around the mirror like this, and any excess that's that's left hanging, I'll just simply trim out with a razor blade, a real sharp razor blade, and just sort of trim it out right there. But overall, the mirror install went good. 
looks looks and kind of seems a little simple, a little harder than it looks, especially on the first try. But give it a couple tries, and uh, if you have any issues with the film, so long as the film hasn't been stuck on the mirror for more than uh, four, uh, four to five minutes, you can always grab it and start pulling it off and start all over and just repeat that same step. Uh, I wouldn't advise that if the mirror has, if the film has been on the mirror for more than five minutes. Uh, if it's been more than five minutes, then removing the film is probably going to distort the adhesive and it's just going to ruin the film and then the film's no good. But up to five minutes, you're probably okay. Again, mirror install for a 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray by Auto Shield Columbia. If you have any questions, give us a call, 803-419-9191 or www.autoshieldcolumbia.com.